Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our one and only personal break this evening and we're we'll cracking on into a hobby box here of 2022 Top Stadium Club Baseball for Eric V from Illinois. So thank you so much Eric for letting me open up some more baseball for you here on the channel and I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Now we have opened up almost a full case's worth of Stadium Club here on the channel and we have found some very, very sweet cards. We found an Austin Riley autograph number five. We found a Nolan Ryan 101. We found some cool parallel short prints, image variation Otani. And we've also had boxes with three autographs instead of just the two that are guaranteed. So Stadium Club's been very nice to us, very kind to us here this year. And I'm hoping we see some more of that same lucky magic here for Eric this evening. So yes, as I said, two autographs guaranteed per box, but we have seen a box with a bonus. So I'm curious as to what we're actually going to end up unwrapping here in this one. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get on into it by snapping us into the corner. And yes, excited and a little bit antsy to see what Stadium Club is going to yield this time around. So yeah, we're almost at a full case's worth of openings. Do have more cases to keep going. So I think we'll be checking out Stadium Club for quite some time here at Titan. All right, Alonzo on the front. Ooh, we have, that's a nice jumbo card. We have the Seiya Suzuki jumbo rookie for the Cubs. That's neat. We've seen his regular sized rookie a few times, but this is my first time seeing his jumbo, so that's cool. Seiya Suzuki. All right, here we go. Pack one for Eric. Let's see. We had some really nice pulls earlier. Checked out a full case of the brand new Final Fantasy TCG release. So hoping that the lucky magic carries over. Very excited. So we do have Aaron Ashby rookie. We have a Wander rookie as well. We have a red rookie, Spencer Strider. All right. sure why so many of the cards are all flipped around but we do have patrick wisdom so patrick wisdom autograph is our first of the box similar start to the box earlier this week for greg which also had a patrick wisdom that was the box that had three autos maybe patrick's a bonus we'll see all right one auto already starting off a cubs theme box jumbo suzuki then a wisdom auto We have Drew Ellis, rookie. We have Red Jackson Kowar. And then Cal Rally, rookie. Tyler Gilbert and Power Zone, Mike Trout. And it is number five. First insert of the box. Our jumbo card's a little, it wasn't uh, laid nice and neatly there on the mat. It was bothering me. Had to straighten them on up. Got our Seabold rookie. Cabrera rookie. Very cool Nolan Ryan image. I love this one. And we have Dynasty insert, Mike Trout. Oh, we got some Trout going on here. Then we have Vlad Jr. Alrighty, are you a parallel? What's going on here? So the Dynasty and Destiny inserts. Uh, who is A? So Dynasty and then Destiny. These are not, you know, this is not the match here. It's the Angels and the Blue Jays. It's not a little team parallel here. But uh, this is how they, they fit. So there's a little bit of a puzzle. Interesting that they are together. It's the first box. I think we've seen two of those inserts. And I didn't see anything special. They're not numbered on the back. Um, maybe just a little bonus. Bonus inserts. Jose Siri, Castillo rookie. Ooh, we have a black autograph, Jim Abbott. Ah, the foiling. What is going on there? There's a chunk of the foiling missing. Tops. That is number 22 of 25, Jim Abbott here. Oh, why is the foil? No, come on. Alrighty. 
Well, Eric, I'll set aside uh, a pack wrapper for you, the box, and anything you may need. If you were interested in sending this off to Tops for replacement, it is unfortunate for that to be flaking there. Well, I honestly can't tell if it flaked off or it just for some reason never went through. There is an indent on the card for the B, for the second B, rather. Maybe I, hmm, I don't know. That is very weird. It's like a little block that's just missing. Jim Abbott here. Black autograph. 22 of 25. Unfortunately, with some missing foiling. Yeah, I believe it needs the UPC pack wrapper. I'll get everything you may need if you're interested, Eric, in sending that off for replacements. Ah, it's a nice card. What a shame there. Ugh. Don't you hate when that happens? We have Red, J.P. Crawford, and I just realized I abandoned the back of that other pack. We had Team of the Future insert, Wander Franco, Reed Detmer's rookie, and Jeff Bagwell base. All right. We do have two autos, and we're not even halfway through the box. We're almost there, but not quite. I wonder if we can find any extras. It's been our first black parallel autograph. Brian De La Cruz, we have Black Vlad Jr. parallel. Gavin Sheets, rookie. Red, David Wright. Josh Lowe, rookie. We do have another autograph, TJ Friedel here, rookie auto for the Reds. So another three auto box, very cool. Otani, team of the future. Alrighty, so three autos. We've had back-to-back -back three auto boxes here this week. Still frustrated at the, the foil mishap there. As much as I do enjoy this year's stadium club, I feel like in general the foil parallels haven't been as clean as they've been in previous years. Not all of them look super shiny. Like I will say that David Wright foil. I know it's not in focus. Come on. There we go. That looks a lot better than this black parallel Vlad. Even though I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with it. It just doesn't seem like this one came out as well. The Barry's foil parallels have been, I feel like, hit or miss. But I've never seen one where it's actually like just a chunk of the foil is missing. So, anyways. That is one of the benefits of being on camera, is it's not like, you know, Tops can say, oh, did you peel it off yourself? Be like, we well, you know, we just, it was like that. <sighs> Extra steps. Extra steps. Thurman Munson red, that's neat. And Nick Lodolo. This box has been interesting. Double up on these inserts, we doubled up on the reds. Huh. Andre Jackson, Bobichette. Yeah, Joey Votto here, Black Parallel. Is that intentional? Oh, I, what? That looks weird. Is there just issues with the black parallels huh red pool holes we haven't found any chrome parallels yet we're typically finding at least one chrome base parallel and one of the chrome triumvirate inserts per box it's a couple packs remaining here for eric let's see Lopez rookie, and we do have a red beam team. Say a Suzuki. That's cool. We've had some nice rookies in the set. We've had a couple wanders, base and insert. We had the jumbo Suzuki, and then we have the red beam team insert. I feel like it's been a little while since we've seen a beam team. I remember I commented on our preview boxes that I wasn't thrilled with the design. The intentional off-center designs we've seen from a few different Pop Tops baseball products this season 
It's not my style. So not necessarily for me. AJ Alexi, and then Power Zone, Pete Alonzo. Really cool picture of Ozzy Smith. All right, last pack. Are we gonna get Chrome or no Chrome? Looks like there is Chrome here. Looks like it is a base Chrome, not a Triumvirate. So it looks like we didn't have a Triumvirate this box. Oh, wait, no. Actually, I think it's sliding out. I think we actually achieved both of our goals here in this last pack. So we had Nolan Arenado. And the Raphael Devers triumvirate that is T15 for the Red Sox. All right. So I was like, oh, no, we missed. I was like, we missed out. I think the pack odds are 1 in 23 packs on these. So you should find one per box, although it's cutting it a bit close. But I was like, oh, man. But we did find, we did find our one per box chromes in that last pack. So let me set these materials right there so that way I don't forget them. Tidying up, then we'll get into a recap here for Eric. So we did have a bonus autograph, but one of the autos was a little funky looking. Unfortunately, it was our low numbered black parallel autograph. Otherwise, it's a really nice card. Jim Abbott here for the California Angels. That was number 22 of 25 black parallel. This is really cool, but unfortunate there on the foiling. We have TJ Friedel here, rookie auto for the Reds. And then we had the Patrick Wisdom as well for the Cubs. We had one parallel. It was a parallel insert, red beam team, Seiya Suzuki, rookie. We had the Chrome, Nolan Arenado. Sleeved up our triumvirate. They are odd shapes. I know that you put three of them together uh, to make like a little bit of a puzzle. We've only seen like, I think one right piece and all the other ones have been center pieces. Uh, so interesting design this year, how it, I don't really know how you'd store it, but uh, Raphael Devers here on our triumvirate of the box. We ended up with two Dynasty and Destiny inserts, Trout and Vlad Jr. Two Power Zones, Trout and Alonzo. Team of the Future, we had Wander and Otani. Two black parallels. Again, these are looking a little funky as well. The Vlad Jr. and the Joey Votto. A bunch of reds, including some rookies. And our jumbo card of the box. We have this neat jumbo rookie, Seiya Suzuki. Yes. Nice to see three autos in the box. Eric, I hope that you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Like I said, I'll provide all the materials. I'll have them in your package. If you do decide you want to send it to Tops, if you want to keep it, it's no no problem at all. But just in case, on the off chance, you are interested in having Tops try and figure out a replacement. Stuff like that, I don't know. Because to me, that seems damaged. But I don't know how Tops would view that. You think they would agree that that is is definitely a card with a defect. So curious about that. If anyone has seen something like this before, had Tops deal with it, let us know. Like I said, it looks like it flaked off because I can see the imprint of the line and then the B. But it is kind of a weirdly square area. I don't know, perhaps if they the layer they put the foiling on, maybe, maybe something was stuck there. Maybe the card had something on it. And when it pressed, if it, that's how it works. I don't know. But it's interesting there. Number to 25 on the Abbott's. Nice low numbered autograph, just of course that's issue on it. Well, that does wrap off this opening. So again, Eric, thank you for letting me open up more baseball for you. I hope you enjoyed it, had a lot of fun, and still love all of your new cards. All of you out there watching, I hope you enjoyed the video as well. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, like I said, if you've seen something similar, dealt with tops with something similar, let us know in the comments below. I'm curious. And hope that you guys can give some insight as to what may have caused this or if it's common, a prevalent issues. Because like I said, you know, the red parallels, some of them look a little weird, but in general, they look better than the black foils this year. So I'm not sure if the uh, black parallel machine just had some issues or what. But so let me know your guys' thoughts, advice, suggestions, anything in the comments below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But yes, that actually wraps things all off for me here this evening. Two openings, one significantly shorter than the other. But I hope that you guys enjoyed both of them. And it was nice seeing another box of Stadium Club with three autographs. We've seen a lot of cool stuff out of this case. So nice to see that bonus autos. Not just the one and done. We've seen it now twice. So that's pretty cool. Do we have Stadium Club this weekend?
There is some Stadium Club in the queue as well for this weekend, so we'll see if we can keep up the hotness with this product. But before I get on out of here, because we're wrapping off this video, do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have eight Black Label fans, Anden, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Kira Soltari, MT, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. Oh, no, I, I skipped. I went back to the old list. Sean F, too. MT, then Sean F, then the Stevens. Eight. Then we also do have nine Gemmint fans. Bamboo, Butch Corby, Geriatric Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinefsen, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But yes, I had a lot of fun here this evening. I've got a lot of sorting to do after that Final Fantasy case opening, but those cards look really cool. So if you guys are fans, make sure you go back and check that out. I'm fa fans of, of course, the Final Fantasy franchise. Well, really like their trading cards. Really like the card stock as well. I've never seen any weird foil pills on a Final Fantasy card. I'll say that. I'll say that, Tops. But yes, that's... That does it here for this opening today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you guys will join me in the next one. Bye.